สวัสดีค่ะ Well, welcome to our backyard. We are thrilled to invite you uh, to one one of the areas that we think is the best part about our new home. We are, are loving this move to Chiang Mai, and we're thrilled to give you just a small update about what God is doing in our lives. Rebecca, why don't you get us started? Well, we have been here in Chiang Mai for about three months. Uh, we want to thank you for praying for us as we were looking for our new home. Uh, God has given us a beautiful new home that is really peaceful and has enough space that we can invite small groups over uh, to help them learn about Jesus. So we just want to say thank you for praying. Well, in addition to a, a new town and a new house, we also have a new church. Well, at least new to us, the church, the Chiang Mai Church of the Nazarene, has been around for about 30 years, and currently. It has somewhere between 10 and 15 people attending on a regular basis, and Pastor Sirapan is the uh, pastor there. She is a great pastor, a fun lady, and we enjoy working with her and getting to know the people in her church, eating Thai food together and eating American food together. It's just a, a, a good group of people, and we pray that God will bless this church. Not only do we have a new city with a new house and a new church, we are in a new season of learning. We have gone back to school. So Steve is mm -hmm. taking a class on how to use media as mission. How can we use the internet and different forms of media um, to reach all across the country to help people know who Jesus is and what he's done for them. We're also taking uh, language classes again. While we can speak the Thai language already, we're learning how to read and write this time. The Thai language is rated as one of the hardest languages in the world to learn. It has 44 consonants, and nobody can tell us how many different vowel sounds. Not only that, but it's a tonal language. So if your voice goes up or if it goes down, those are different words, and there are 21 rules that we have to learn in order to be able to sound out words correctly. Well, it's not just Rebecca and I taking uh, language classes. We have many uh, new families joining us here in Thailand, and about half our team is currently in language school. This is a tough season for our team as everybody is studying for the language exam. The sixth grade, exam, the sixth grade uh, language exam is so tough that many Thai people do not pass it. But for missionaries, if we are able to pass this exam, this opens up uh, new, new visa types for us, and, which opens up new areas of Thailand that we can move to. There are places today that we, can, that we cannot go because we don't have the right type of visa. So we ask you to uh, pray for our team as we are studying this important language and learning how to communicate with our friends and neighbors. Pray that we're able to remember the tones and the grammar and pass this important exam. One other thing you can pray about is uh, COVID is still here in Thailand mm -hmm. and it is flourishing here. We kind of got a late start last year and so it's still lingering here. We've got about 18,000 new cases a day, which means uh, things are kind of shutting back down again right now. So I believe all the flights into Chiang Mai have been canceled just recently. Um, and people are staying home, and that makes ministry really challenging. It's really hard to meet your neighbors when everybody's hiding in their homes. So if you could pray that this pandemic will end and end soon, that would be awesome. Well, while we have um, many new families joining the Seafield, our team is still very small. There are many things that we would like to do here in Thailand, but we just don't have the personnel to do it. Last week I was talking with Pastor Sirapan, and she was telling me how YWAM used to have a neighborhood soccer team, and, and that was a great way to reach out to people, the, to kids in our neighborhood. Well, soccer is a young person's game, someone who can join the kids in running around the field without the huffing and the puffing and the heart attack along the way. So we are praying for a young person that could help us to build a youth group and, and a soccer league and other sports things here in Chiang Mai. Please join us in praying for that. Well, in addition, um, 
Rebecca, we, I think we mentioned this to you, she is our field accountant. And currently there is more than enough work for, for probably two people, maybe even two and a half people, and yet it's being done by one person. We really need another accountant to join our field and help get this work done. This, you know, finances are such an important part of ministry and we want them done well. And just here in the, the ministry that I do with media, um, recently as the team shuffled around and different people were given new responsibilities, I lost two people from our media team. Well, we really want to launch out and create videos and social media and learn new ways of reaching people using media. This is where the new generation gets information and we need to be there as a part of that. Please pray that God will supply people to help us with, our, with this whole media ministry. Next week, March 11th through 14, our team will also be having a team retreat, those of us in Thailand. So all the missionaries in Thailand will come together right here in Chiang Mai, actually, and we will um, hear from our team leader and pray that we will have sensitivity to God's spirit, that we will hear his vision for Thailand and for what he wants to do through us. Where does he want us? We, we long to hear from God. So please pray for us that, that we will hear that and that he will build us together in unity for his glory. Well, hey, once again, we want to thank you for allowing us to share these needs with you. And before we go, I want to invite you to consider the, the Southeast Asia area for your next mission trip. God is moving in this area of the world. We're part of the 1040 window, and so the number, the percentage of Christians here is one of the lowest on the entire planet. Your, by your participation in teams, you can help us get into areas that right now that we cannot get into. Schools are a great example. When teams come, we are able to get into schools and share the gospel with, with school children. Come and see what God is doing and how he might be calling you into to fill one of these spots that we've talked about or some other area of ministry. Well, thank you very much. We really do appreciate you guys, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless you, and swati kap.